Alrighty, I have a construction update for you guys today. So as you can see right on the screen, they are redoing Ghoster Coaster's roof. Um, Wonderland is completely doing a lot of roofs around the park. I've noticed that. They've been working really hard at getting a lot of the roofs done. They are painting still. As of yesterday, they were painting the front gate area, um, painting a lot of the queue lines, the stanchions. Well, not the stanchions themselves, but yeah, over at Tunnel 1, they've been inserting um, little guardrails, so even if people were to somehow get over the fence, that they don't just fall into that little hole. Obviously, safety um, is priority. Outside of that, zero change in the Elpin area outside of the drink stand and Tiny Tom. So Tiny Tom's has been hard under work, but zero work there. If you've been watching my videos, uh, they will start construction on the 2025 coaster on Monday. It will all be inside the mountain to start. So again, we won't see anything um, to, you know, out there. Uh, on top of that, no work going on in Extreme Skyflyer's plot of land. But they were prepping Tunnel 1 to either do a massive concrete slab to then drill um, support columns into or um, doing footing. So whatever they decide to do, um, we'll pay close attention. I'm trying to think if there was anything else. Uh, the restaurant is moving along really nicely. This update does have vertical construction of Moosehorn in it, by the way. So we'll get to that in just a second. But yeah, not too much else going on elsewhere. So this was filmed first thing in the morning. There's no vertical yet um, yesterday. And they had just a couple of footings left to do. So you can tell they're done. And that's why they're going to move over to the other construction site. Oh, you can actually see the support columns getting ready to go right there. Um, so those are the support columns for the um, 90 degree wall, the zero gravity wall that you go up, the 13 meter tall. Um, so that's exciting. I can't wait to see this thing standing because I actually think it's going to look really cool. Um, escrow welding was inside the mound in this area. Again, there's a lot of reworking in terms of steel structure um, that needs to occur and restructuring as well. So escrow is probably in there doing a lot of that. Um, in preparation for the coaster. Um, again, we don't know if the coaster is going to re-enter where the sprite game is, and there's going to be another hole cut, uh, and then launch out the other end, or it's going to somehow go over Vortex. It does need to go somewhere, um, so we're keeping a close eye. We don't know. It also, it, like the coaster could come out into Elpin and do some weird spike, um, but it's showing two um, connecting pieces of those three footings, so it doesn't look like a spike is there it looks more like a top hat um but yeah so there's the vertical construction of moosehorn falls uh as you can tell that's the uh, 13 meter tall um 90 degree wall zero gravity wall but yeah they're, they're moving along quickly so the footings took quite a, a, a lot of work as they would um but vertical is starting as you can see they still have some footings to pour concrete wise but we have rain for the next couple of days so that's obviously going to put a damper in that so they're they're obviously deciding to multitask um, with the bad weather that they've had. And that is the only reason that the water slide is delayed, by the way. So if you don't know, the water slide is delayed until June. Um, and that is simply because it, we've had a lot of wet weather that has postponed a lot of these footings. So maybe that's why the park is choosing to start inside the mountain as well. Um, our new electrical station is coming along nicely. They're about to start vertical construction on the wall. Um, and the restaurant is coming along nicely as well. Um, and yeah, that's everything. Thanks so much for watching today's update, guys. Have a good one. Bye.